hello chess friends uh, i'm back again with another video and this time it is uh, about the chess variant that is uh, not very popular among beginner players but uh, at intermediate level uh, and even at advanced level there are few players who actually play this bug house and crazy house chess and it helps uh, you improve your tactics but uh, it is kind of addictive also so there are some problems with this uh, variants uh, as few claim that it may deteriorate your regular chess but I don't think so um, this kind of uh, variants may help you with your tactics but uh, anyways um, what I am going to uh, look uh, today is a game between Crypt and me and this game was played in probably March uh, or April or May uh, this year so I am not sure but around that time um, because I played lot of crazy house chess on FICS at that time and I use Baba's chess uh, for my FICS uh, chess interface. Uh, so let's have a look at this game. I was playing white, so started with uh, this E4 regular move, very aggressive in Crazy House, and in Crazy House it is just like a bug house. If you are familiar with the bug house, bug house is a team kind of chess where you have white pieces and your partner has black and it is exactly opposite on your opponent's team. You are playing uh, naturally with somebody who has black pieces if you are white. So you can exchange pieces uh, with your partner and you can place them anywhere on your board with some restrictions and mostly in tandem chess uh, you cannot put your pawns beyond 6th rank and not directly in a check you cannot place a piece directly into a check uh, and this tandem chess is more common in Europe and India and we play this a lot uh, at a local joint here and this is uh, quite popular in Europe also and in American version I think uh, pawns can be placed up to the seventh rank and you can uh, place any pawn or piece directly into a check you can directly give check or checkmate with the, your piece landing anywhere on the board so these are the basic rules and here there is a link below this video on YouTube if you want to learn more about uh, this bug house and crazy house variants of the game and I have collected a lot of material and some example games uh, you can check it out on my blog if you want so here my opponent crypt uh, he was high, high rated compared to me he was 17 18 at that time I was put in 69 and he replied with e5 and relative value of pieces uh, in this crazy house and bug house are different from regular chess here knights and bishops are what, two points pawns are one uh, rooks are three and sometimes uh, they are considered 2.5 and queen is 3.5 or 4 uh, depending upon position sometimes uh, queens are even useless so knights are much more stronger in uh, this variance compared to bishop my opponent played uh, this bishop move trying to attack uh, weak this weak square on my camp so this is very common theme in crazy house and bug house you sacrifice two three pieces just to checkmate your opponent so I am also eyeing this square here so that 
basically same idea so we captured uh, on f2 with this bishop i have no other option but to capture back so what happened is that you can see he got one pawn here because he captured my pawn so there is this one pawn in his inventory that he can use uh, later to place anywhere on the board and in this crazy house uh, played on FICS uh, bug house uh, rules of uh, American version is followed so you can place it in check and up to 7th rank anywhere and you can promote uh, the pawn on the 8th rank to anything you like uh, but the piece uh, when that piece on 8th rank yeah, captured it again becomes spawn so that is how it is played on uh, streets because to avoid uh, having extra chess set just for the promotions so here I captured this bishop so now I have one extra bishop here he has a pawn I have a bishop so we can use it uh, later if you want so we create this uh, nice little move to open the diagonal for his bishop and I started with I replied this d6 with more aggressive d4 so here he captured my pawn on d4 so now he has two pawns I have a bishop he has two pawns I can place this bishop anywhere I want so I started attacking because now I can jump with my knight on this g5 square and then can deliver a check here it would be supported by this bishop and it also will open this diagonal for my queen so captured check king goes back mm, here uh, in crazy house why knights are stronger than bishop because you have to make a force king move when knight, uh, when knight uh, delivers a check and that is not true for the bishop uh, if bishop delivers the check say from h5 square you can place a new pawn here if there is no pawn here so you can place another new pawn on this uh, g6 square so that is why knights are sometimes much more powerful than bishops king goes back queen check now knight comes out blocking the check and this is the first bishop see this is here in, in my inventory and it appeared here so now what I am threatening is simple thing that uh, we cannot capture this thing here because uh, if he captures then I can capture with a check now if king moves I can get an extra queen you can see queen bishop and pawn and these three are enough to checkmate so that is not possible so once I place this bishop here then this here also I cannot capture this here because he also going to capture this uh, bishop of mine here with his own here and anyways I need to move my queen so that is bad so sorry queen b3 that is what I played in the game knight takes here now what I am threatening is simply moving my bishop to this g8 square and then queen to f7 so with the help of this bishop and knight to deliver check on this uh, f7 and probably a mate so when he captured this pawn on e4 i have no option because this knight is now attacked twice with queen and uh, knight so i have to take it back 
so when I take this back I lose uh, support of this bishop so that is captured so here now I have a pawn in my inventory that I can place here so that is what was played in the game delivers another check with extra bishop in his inventory check check and now I have an extra piece uh, after all this uh, calculations and my king is uh, slightly exposed in the center but I can use this extra pieces to shield my king placing them here if need be but uh, right now he saved his bishop because he cannot give up uh, any more material that would be really dangerous so I pin this uh, bishop with my rook and there is very nice uh, tactical possibility in crazy house and bug house to uh, unpin with uh, placing a pawn or piece uh, between king and the pin material so here this bishop is supported by this bishop so simply placing a pawn here now he is threatening to take this thing and if i take with my king then it is almost over king is way too much exposed so i stop that with my pawn i have extra pawn here so i place it here we are check and i can capture with my king here but then he may start attacking with pawns here so what I did was uh, took this pawn with my rook so now he pin back the rook capture it with my knight captures back with uh, his queen so my rook is still in a pin but uh, I have this bishop here now I have a lot of material so I placed one of my bishop here so now many things are threatened I can push this pawn with the help of this bishop to deliver a check I even can capture uh, here and if uh, queen moves away from the support of this bishop I can capture this bishop also so he captured my pawn g2 and this last pawn because here he has some if I take uh, here then he has some pieces to defend so cannot play slow in this crazy house and bug house games uh, you just need to relentlessly attack so now this check you cannot go in there that would be too dangerous with the help of these two extra pieces I can sacrifice them one by one then can checkmate my opponent so here I capture this pawn now this was probably a mistake capturing this is a possibility here I'm going out like this and then I may check here and that is also made uh, like this but uh, still it was uh, way too bad uh, positionally for black king so here king takes f7 was played so then i have this knight now he came out with his uh, king there are no any other good moves uh, it cannot go back here because that would be suicidal after this state and he may give me a few checks but then I can survive like this yes some material but no, this is almost losing and Apart from this, uh, if he takes here with his rook, I can immediately promote to queen. And 
this is also losing because there is no good way to continue few checks like this maybe but I can survive here and this actually is a check so he one cannot take this back and this is almost over so what was played in the game was after knight check king out to g6 and uh, this is almost over now bishop check because this knight is here so i have some control over this square king goes in now the last piece that i played see his inventory is still there as it is and i have used all my pieces uh, there is no other move he has to capture this with his queen so queen captures bishop captures and now king must capture this but i have an extra queen to deliver the checkmate from this square here or even from here that is also possible so that is how game ended actually bishop to h4 mate and that's all for now if you are interested in playing uh, bug house or crazy house games uh, you can contact me on FICS or you can even leave any comment on my blog I'll respond to it so thanks and thanks for watching and bye for now